there's a class of people in our society who are motivated by nothing but the desire to control. A William Casey, um, an Oliver North, a Donald Rumsfeld, John Ashcroft. These people don't ooze greed, horniness, basic human emotions. What seems to motivate them is the desire to control. It's very, very significant that we're saying this on this day when there are policemen all over the place watching us. Speaking of the police, this is our first police surveillance camera. On the pole, unlabeled, this camera is among the most significant that we'll see, there'll be more police cameras. But of all the cameras we've seen, this one should be obeying the law of the land, the Constitution of the United States, of uh, the pre-John Ashcroft Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. This camera is violating every single concept in the law of the land. There is no judge either sitting up there in his robe saying, yes, at exactly 328 on Sunday the 3rd, you had probable cause to believe that on the southwest corner of 49th and 5th Avenue, a crime was going to take place, and they are not spe specifically describing the place or who or what they were going to be searching for. Nor is there a judge on the receiving end who's not sitting up there and is not in the booth and that every time the police look through this camera and see something, or every time they videotape, they're violating the law of the land, plain and simple. Today, we're told security and privacy are mutually exclusive. If you want your security, you have to give up your privacy. But the people who wrote this document, who are among the more extreme political elements in the, the 18th century, made it so to say, no, you are not secure unless you have your privacy. And that privacy is what makes you secure. Now, in a very cynical age, we're said, well, do you want to be secure against terrorists killing you? Therefore, you have to give up some of your privacy. But you can't give up some of your privacy. It's not a commodity that can be quantified and sold off bit by bit. You either have it or you don't. Note the language. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, comma, houses, papers, and effects. The word persons comes before houses. You don't just have your privacy when you're cowering inside your bathroom or your bedroom. You have your privacy wherever you take your person. So if I take my person out the dough, my privacy comes with me until I've gone through another door. And when I'm out here where there are no do doors, I have the full constitutional expectation of privacy that can only be waived in certain instances. What this amendment was passed for was to prevent British soldiers from executing what they called writs of assistance. You could have a British soldier stationed right there or right here who would say, you look sub suspicious to me, show me your papers. That the Fourth Amendment was written to prevent officers of the law from asking you to see your papers in public. And what I maintain is that that's exactly what that device is doing. Just two days ago, your president told you that we are at war. There is an axis of evil in the world. Where are your flags? Where's my flag? We're lingering. In capitalism, there is no lingering. When they program devices like this by computers, the first thing that the camera is looking for is lingerers. Because lingerers are possibly going to smoke a joint, possibly going to write graffiti, have a cigarette, lie down. So when the computers are smart, when the cameras are smart, they're looking for lingerers. And that's a very capitalist impulse on the part of the programmers, because right here, nothing remains in position. 
Money must circulate. Commodities must circulate. Things can't sit on the shelves. Get it off the shelves. You can't just have p people standing around here. You can't have just cars standing around. Everything must restlessly move. Except for us. The guys with no, except for us, the guys with no flags who didn't shave this morning. <laughs> Those are the three tip-offs. I don't know what we're up to, but we gotta be up to something. That's all visual information that has been searched and seized from us. We presumably are standing and living in a democratic society. And that the society that this, we have here as a symbol of our triumph over communism, that neither the Stasi, nor the KGB, nor the Nazis, nor any of the great and terrifying totalitarian superpowers or the powers of the 20th century, none of them had surveillance cameras like we have. None of them have the technical apparatus. And it seems sort of a vision of what our potential future is, is that the Berlin Wall gets taken down in one particular place and gets rebuilt all over the planet. They want pictures of the people who are interested in them. Yes. Are you reading my lips as I say, fuck you?